I am happy to be in Canton, Georgia to introduce Brad to my family and for them, you know, to see what kind of a genuine person that's in my life right now. Today is important to me because I do want to show Brad how committed I am to this, how much I do need him in my life. How are you? Good, I brought you a present. Wait, no, I brought your family a present. You can't bring me a present. I love the fact that Deanna doesn't need me. And one very important thing, I admire who she is. Is it enough to see myself with this woman for the rest of my life? I think I'll answer those questions today just by seeing how she is around her family. Hi! Hey! Grab hugs, I know you're so Hi, excited. honey. Hi, Daddy. I get to meet her father, Greg. Very nice Greg to meet Pappas. you. Pleased to meet you. Her brother, Thomas. Thomas, how are you, Brad? Her sister, Chrissy. Brad, very nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. And her stepmother, Rebecca. Thank I hope you, you like it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me into your home. It means the it's world to me. When Brad and I walked through the front door, it was the first time in my life that I have been 100% proud to walk through with a man on my arm. So coming here is like coming home. I was born and raised in Atlanta. Really? I was telling Deanna, it's just, um, it's good to come back home and, and meet all of you. So have you been married before? You've been a bachelor all this time? <laughs> or? I um, had some very long relationships, but never been married. No, sir. My parents uh, got divorced at an early age. So as a result of that, I, I just I think I take it so seriously that I want to make sure that it's the right good one. Good for you. That's great to hear. I don't meet people like, uh, like your daughter too often. Now, so. she's, she's once in a lifetime, I can tell you that. She's my little girl. I hope Brad's intentions are good intentions with my daughter. He is a very nice individual. I just hope his heart is in the right place. Would you mind if I asked you a, a straightforward question then? No, if, go right ahead. Do you believe that this could be real between your daughter and I? Oh, I think it could. Right. Absolutely. OK. Absolutely. I mean, I can tell. I've known my daughter for 25 years now. Right. I can see the sparkle in her eye, how she feels about you, and and I certainly hope that uh, you feel that same way about her. I do have that sparkle in my eye as well every time I see her. I'm glad to hear that. She's been through a lot in her life, Brad. Right. And uh, losing a mother, of course, it was very difficult for children to understand why their mother's taken away from them. Sure. And I'm just really proud to see how far she's come. That um, speak of the devil. I know, we gotta. We have to quit talking about her, she's here. Only good things, I hope. Always good things. What do you have this here? This is a small little photo album I wanted to show you. Uh, just pictures growing up with my mother and stuff. Nice. And um, that's my, <laughs> that's my mean face. Is that the pouty face? <laughs> there brown they are, eyes. the big eyes. Big brown eyes. My mom was always taking pictures, and I think that was probably because, you know, she wanted us to have the memories because she knew she wasn't going to live forever. Mm -hmm. Tonight, as we were sitting outside, you know, I kind of introduced my mother to Brad. She's not here in person, but she still is very much an important part of my life. So mm -hmm. um, I wanted to show him some pictures. That's a great picture. Yeah. So cute. That's all you get to see. You come back again, I'll show you more. <laughs> Okay. The fact that Deanna is still so strong after her mother's death and showing me that soft emotional side makes me fall for her even more. What are you gonna do? I know you're gonna be so excited if he does pick you, but what if he doesn't? Um, if he doesn't pick me, honestly, I'll be crushed. I feel like I found exactly what I've been waiting on. And, um, to have it all just slip right away, it would hurt me. I'd be extremely sad. I just, I just don't want you to not be OK, <laughs> you know? I know. No matter what, you know that mom's going to be watching over you. You know she's proud of you, no matter what. And we are, too. Thanks, Chrissy. I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad. Hey, anybody home? Hey! Uh, Let's have a no. party, huh? What do you 
just saying, I got the booze. We were casually hanging out, and my entire family almost, my yaya, my papu, my Aunt Tina, my Uncle Plutarch, my brother's wife, Crystal, came through the front door, and I was so happy. Oh Look around, this is uh, overwhelming. This is half of it, Brad. This is only half no, of it. No, this is not even half. A very nice half, though. Two Great. people yeah. started all Five this. children. <laughs> right. 11 grandchildren. Any great grandchildren? Hopefully. No grass. <laughs> When Diana's Papu came in with a ouzo, to see if you taste it, then I'll fill it up. Don't taste it. Don't taste it. Don't taste it. Just I took a shot of it and tried to keep a straight face because I'm a man. No, that stuff burns. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's good. <laughs> Give you a house and may you love your mother-in-law. <laughs> Yasu. 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 The scene at the Papa's house was just like my big fat Greek wedding. It really was. I was expecting plates to come flying over my head. I truly felt like we were husband and wife in this family reunion. Opa! Opa! An amazing family. Seeing Brad interact and see how well he fit in with my family, it's sealed the deal for me. Um, completely falling for this person that I've just met. If I was to be sent home at the next rose ceremony, it, it, would, it would crush me. <laughs>